Welcome to another get practical guide to the 1.6 attributes. This time we're doing two of them. One is attack damage and one is uh, follow distance because they're both pretty simple to understand so decided just to knock them both out at once. So this is... so let me just explain what I'm doing here. So I gave this diamond sword a <laughs> attack damage boost of 1337. That will basically one hit everything in the game. And yeah, that's it's a little overkill for everything. So anyway, I'll just show you one hitting a wither boss. Because why not? There we go. So yeah, this sword will just one hit pretty much anything, no matter what, because its attack damage is 1,337 hearts. That means it'll do, well no, it's not hearts, it's damage. So you divide that by two and that's how many hearts it'll do. Is that a slime? Seriously? Ugh. Alright, anyway. So on to... negative uh, attack damage. This is kind of a useless thing, I'll, I'll show you. Let's see... I think I can just stay in, stay in survival mode for the rest of the time. But I gave this weapon to these zombies, which should spawn any moment. There we go. And as you can see, they don't do anything but dance around in front of me. Like, it's kind of funny to watch though, it's, it's like, party hard, yeah, yeah, and as you can see, I can't do any damage to him, I'm basically doing the same thing, I'm just whacking him. Is it F5, that, yeah, see, I'm just kind of whacking each other with the, uh, <laughs> negative attack damage. It doesn't heal them, it doesn't do anything, it just, uh, does nothing with negative attack damage. So it's kind of fun. So you can, like, spawn an army of these and it won't hurt anybody. But... On to follow distance, I guess. That's all I wanted to say about attack damage. It's not much to say about it. It's kind of intuitive and simple. It's a simple mechanic. So on to follow distance. This guy's got the default follow distance of a zombie of 40, which was updated in 1.5 or 1.6, so that he will track you around until you're like 40 blocks away, that kind of stuff. But... I gave this zombie a follow distance of zero, so I'm just gonna hang out in this uh, thing, and he's not gonna notice me because he's got a follow distance of zero. I mean, maybe if I get, maybe if I get to like yeah, right up next to him, he'll smack me because I'm within zero blocks of him. Then he'll knock me far enough away so that he'll lose track of me because I'm outside of zero follow distance. So that's kind of fun. And I did the same thing with the skeleton, so I can just hang out with the skeleton, and he won't care. Actually, one thing I haven't tested is, if he if he locks onto me, will he continue shooting at me after I, he shoots at me once? Or... Yeah, I guess, since, since I get outside of his follow distance, the skeleton will also give up as soon as I'm outside of zero follow distance. Am I... you gonna shoot at me? <laughs> I'm inside of a skeleton, and he hasn't noticed me. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Of course, if you're within, if you're in zero follow distance, he's not going to be able to hit you because he'll just shoot past you. So that's kind of fun. And here's a creeper, and as you can see, nothing. But let's see, can I? Ah, so follow distance doesn't determine how far away a creeper will ex will uh, give up on exploding. So that's good to know. Now this test. Actually, I need a. Uh, Need a freaking villager spawner, villager thing. There we go. One thing I haven't tested is if a zero, zero follow distance zombie will fi find a villager, um, or will he will, or whether or not he'll follow a villager. Let me just get up on here, spawn you. I have a, a a piston door set up over there with a default zombie, and a follow distance of 120 zombie. And I'm going to see if the default will have as much follow distance, or if the 120 follow distance zombie, they might not be rendered, so <laughs> might have to get a little closer, so I can... Is he coming? He should be coming. Um, did something not work? Oh wait, oh yes. Uh, I blocked it off while building. So that it wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't escape while building. And as you can see, the follower zombie is the zombie that gave 120 follow distance. He's going for the villager while the default zombie is not. 
So he's just hanging out in here. He's got the default follow distance of 40, so he can't see these 90 blocks away, based, almost. I think it's like about 90 blocks away that that cage is from that. Where'd that creeper come from? Oh, he spawned on the... <laughs> yeah, it's nighttime. I have, I have night vision, so... Uh, yeah, things will spawn, but it's not dark to me. And yeah, this guy will f will uh, see this guy from 100 blocks away, 120 blocks away, even in like a maze situation. So it's always fun to make zombies that can see villagers through mazes, and then the zombie will just solve the maze. I think Seth Bling made a video like that, so that's fun. Anyway, I think that's about all I can say about follow distance. I'm not sure if you can use it on pigmen, like I've tried on pigmen, but it doesn't seem to work. So I might want to test that out a, a bit more, but. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else? I guess there's only a couple uh, attributes left. There's movement speed, which is a technical one with the, the values it uses. And then there's, you know, like the horse jump thing. I'll probably just put the horse jump attribute in the same video because, yeah, that's <laughs> not much to explain. But anyway, I guess see you next time for the uh, movement speed.